close at 6.45. So I had like the stress of my life getting there. Yeah. Me and my two best friends have been planning our summer trip together literally since March. We've been wanting to spend the first two weeks of summer break together, visiting three different places, starting off with... The first thing we did after our five hour bus ride, which had to be three, is find a place to eat and connect to Wi Fi to understand where our Airbnb was. Okay, sure. After checking into our Airbnb, Kiara and I went on a hunt for flip-flops, stopping through the different stands at the local market. Oh my Of course, we wanted to go swimming, but the weather wasn't that great. So we sat by the pier, wandered a bit, and then went back home for dinner, which was cooked by Andidis. Mère au foyer, six enfants. Ce soir, c'est pas de pesto parce que j'ai plus de fric. Le pesto, c'est parce que j'ai plus de fric. C'est fait maison. Ah. À plus tard les amis, on se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo quand je vous montre les pâtes au pesto. Okay. Yeah. Come on. We're up. My turn. And the pound half goes already. Yay! <laughs> no, it's very cute in leather, simple. It's very simple. It has coins and it has euros now and I just I love being European. Then I have so that, like, a camcorder, you know, the one that opens. Like On our first day, we got ready and found a place for breakfast overlooking the dock. This became our go to spot for the next few days. It drizzled all day, so we decided to walk around town stopping at local shops, including all the ones in the cellar of Diocletian's Palace. The best part of the day, of course, was visiting this weird frog museum. It sounds so weird, but we all recommend it's not what we were expecting.
walked around for what seemed ages trying to find a spot for lunch and ended up sitting at a restaurant where, for some weird reason, we all craved salads. <laughs> Andy was really keen on us trying ice cream from this place she saw on TikTok. And although there was a queue, it went fast and their fig and ricotta ice cream was so good. My two best friends think I have really shitty sense of like location and shit. And it's true, but it's not that shit. And they asked me to find the house. And I went, I went up the street. They were like, no, you have to turn. And I was like, no, I swear you can go this way. And in fact, oh, fuck. They thought they tricked me, but I see them right there. And I'm fucking right. I do, I remember we did no, because I was like the shop where I, I bought the thing. Yeah, you did. Once you, we did, going. And I, we'll be every single time we come up. No, no, Before going out, we stopped at Casa de Fuego for dinner. And once again, we came here every day because of how good it was. We became obsessed, and honestly, so should you. Um, the quantity for the price was perfect, and it was so, so good. The sun is finally out, isn't it out? The sun is finally out. <laughs> no, the sun is finally out. Yesterday it was so cloudy, it was raining. It was ugly. We had a great day, but I'm just Actually, it looks so pretty right now. The sky is so blue. I know. It is nice. It is so blue. And then the thing is, me and Kara woke up, and yesterday it said that it was going to be super sunny today and super sunny tomorrow. We wake up and we check the weather. And it says it's going to be slightly cloudy today, and I think I was going to shoot myself, but it actually isn't. So that's good. Do you agree? I Good. Oh my god. <laughs> I think you should, you should show how blue the sky is. I'll show how blue the sky is. <laughs> we should all acknowledge that um, Helen is now using my phone to film her vlog. So technically I have the copyrights on her video, and I can easily report her, her video because it's my phone and my device and I did not consent so you will probably never be seeing this video because I will report it and take it down for copyright issues <laughs> who has a bullet for me? Yeah. <laughs> Des abricots, ouais. des framboises et des myrtilles. Mmh. Voilà. Day two finally brought a sun, so we started by getting a bunch of fruit and then of course getting breakfast. The walk to the beach was so cute and colorful and the sun was shining and we were so happy to finally feel like summer was here.
ces framboises sont bonnes For lunch, we stopped at the beach's food court, and then we sat by the water overlooking the very annoying gray clouds. Once again, we found another comfort place. On our last day here, we got breakfast and then spent the next few hours at the beach soaking up the sun and the pretty water. Yeah? Cool. Yeah. Allez. Ah. Allez. Ah. 